Hey guys, before we go ahead and start getting into reviewing some rides here, just wanted to stop and remind you we've got the giveaway with Conce Wheels live right now. We've got the new giveaway partner shirt. It's absolutely awesome. Want some KMPs, some tandems, or some courses or any wheels from Conce's formal lineup. All you gotta do is pick up the shirt, automatically get entered in a win. Enjoy the video. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Double Hand Waves <laughs> featuring Dakota Stone from Fitment Industries. I don't like that one bit. No, for real though, welcome back to another episode of From the Gallery. I'm Gels. I'm Dakota from Fitment Industries. And we are here Again. to review your cars that you've added to the Fitment Industries Gallery. So, mm -hmm. before we go ahead and get into it, if you want your car featured in an upcoming episode, don't forget to add it to the gallery over at fitmentindustries.com forward slash add. And then shoot us an email, shop at fitmentindustries.com with the subject line, review my car. We'll get it added to the list and then we will get to it. Boy, go get that trumpet. I don't know. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Wheel start suspension, fitmentindustries.com. Jinx, you owe me a, a car. So, first up, we have a 2013 Audi A5 on some Roadform LASRs, 20 Audi. by 10 Audi lasers. 20 by 10 plus 35 on some Continental All Seasons, uh, 235, 40 on some Airlift Air Performance Noise. suspension. This is a uh, noise. Dino Hyanas? Noise! Dino Hyena? Let me read it. I like Dino Hyena. I'm, I'm really Dino good at reading. Hyena. I've been doing it my whole life. It's definitely Dino Hyena. Perfect. So this is his 2013 Audi A5 in white. We got some air suspension, we got some red rotor forms. He's got a lot going on. We do have a lot going on. Um, so it looks like we got a uh, front splitter on there with some splitter rods. Uh, we got the red LASRs. It looks like we got some rear spats, uh, some kind of exhaust. We got some paint going on under the hood. Not too sure how I feel about that, but this trunk setup though is interesting. It's different. It, is he, that wood in the trunk? <laughs> Oh, it is. No. It is. It is wood in the trunk, but but it's he did not, it differently. It, it is different. So I like the so. fact that he like utilized his like spare tire compartment, right? A little bit. Like he he put everything in to like where the spare tire would sit, and then he's got like a, a cutout going in. It's, it's, going it's different. On. So he's got a, he's got both the sound system and the air system back there. But under under the hood here. This looks like something I did to my Dodge Neon. Oh! I, honestly, that I, I did this like same exact oh, thing. Geez. I did it. I'm just saying, this is what I did. Kind of getting into the fitment here. Um, he is running like a tuck setup. I, I would like to see maybe just, maybe just a little more uh, in the front. I, is I don't it know a square what, setup? It is a square setup. And those yeah. are 18 by 10s. He's tucking them that 20 hard. 20 by 10s. Oh, 20, Jesus, sorry. Yeah, 20 by 10 plus 35. I'm surprised he's able to tuck them that hard. Right. I mean, maybe maybe it's just like a clearance thing with the A5s. Uh, fenders are rolled, no spacers or anything like that. But I mean, the thing does, I mean, it sits pretty low, but he's got the splitter on the front and everything. So maybe he's tucking that hard because he's on 20s and he wants, you know, to look low rather than sure. being aired out and having fender lip, but then your right. bumper's this I'm sure. I'm sure when he airs up, though, it looks pretty good, too. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. So I'll let you okay, crack it. Cool. Cool. So, white on red. Kind of a fan. I got the, yeah. the daily is white and red. <laughs> so the trick with white and red. Here's okay. Here's the little uh, All right. catch. Well, let's hear it. You got to be very subtle with the red because it's such a huge contrast between colors. It pops so much that if you start doing more, less is more with this. Sure. Like it, it, in my opinion. So like the splitter reds being red. I want to be about sure. that. Not my thing. The interior is already red, and there's a lot of red in the interior. There's a lot of red going on. And then the engine bay painting that all red. I get what you're doing. You're trying to make a theme, which is cool, but like painting up where the, uh, oh, I didn't even why see can't, that. my brain's malfunctioning. Wait, Wipers, wear? there we go. <laughs> and then the engine cover and then the kind of like the cover in front above the radiator and stuff. <laughs> I would not, pass on that. I would say that Dakota is not about yeah, it. Yeah, so I am not about that life. Overall though, like, I don't mind the tuck stance. I think he did that to get it lower. Yeah. I would maybe add some spot, uh, some side skirts to go along with the sure, splitter. definitely. And then, like I said, I would take the red away from the splitter rods. And otherwise, I mean, it's not a terrible looking car. Just be careful with adding so much red. Yeah. I think the red part is very, very it, And it's, it's very easy to get carried away with it. Yeah. Like, cause it's like, oh, I'll do this here, I'll do this here. And then before you know it, it's just everywhere. And then you're like, oh, 
You have a car that's 50% red and 50% white. And that's just <laughs> yeah. It's it's too very much. It, it is it's tricky to do. Yep. It's tough it's when you have easy. a loud color and a neutral car. Be careful with those colors. Cool. Are you ready? Ready? Yeah. All right. So rated out of 10 on three. One, two, three, seven. Seven. That's why I have between six and a half and seven. But it's still a good looking car. Yeah. I think your road forms look good on it. All right. So next up, sticking with the Audi theme, we have a 2012 Audi A1. Now these are a little bit different because they're like they're like the two door great right. looking things. They're a little. They're like they're it's just like, like a two door a, wagoon. It's kind of weird. It's like very compact. They're they're kind of cool looking. I'm not gonna lie. I like it. I so like it. this is uh, who's this is here? This is have an A1 days. Audi A1. So we got some Ronal SX, uh, 17 by 8 standard setup, 17 by 9 in the rear. Belka tires on some airlock performance, air suspension. So sticking with that bagged Euro theme. This thing is you gotta like, do it. This thing is pretty neat. Okay, uh, I'll I let you take a look. That's pretty neat. Um, dang. Bubble butt, bubble 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 butt, bubble <laughs> butt. Are bubble these? Butt. I don't. Are these available in the states? I, I don't think so. I don't feel like, I feel I, like I've, I've never, never actually seen, seen one. one. Yeah. Um, the, so the shade back bumper looks super cool. I like that. I love the subtleness of it. Like it has the dual exit exhaust, or yeah. the, the two, dual tip, I should yeah. say, exhaust, and uh, then the shaved rear end. It just it looks good. That's like how Volkswagen should look. I feel like being big on those wheels. These wheels you don't see too often either, and like. They're kind of cool. I kind of yeah. dig it. I like the contrast between the car. I love the fact that it's like a two-door wagoon. <laughs> it's kind of like a Sirocco. It's a, but a like it's like an Audi. No, it's not. No. <laughs> it has like that look yeah, of a wagoon. Yeah, it's got like the soft, like yeah. the soft hatchback to it. Yeah, it, it is more of a hatchback, but like looks good. His trunk setup is That's pretty wild. cool. I love the hard lines on there. That looks cool. Uh, the red is it's a bit loud and I don't know how much it goes with the rest, but it still looks good I like it. I really like the hard lines on there. That's a cool yeah. setup stance spot on the yeah, fitment, that fitment's really, really good um, Oh, the fitment looks damn good front and rear any spacers on there. Or does he have a dial? Um, uh, no rubbing no scrubbing fenders are pulled and rolled uh, front wheel spacers 20 millimeters none yeah. in the rear So that's interesting that he's running uh, 17 by 8 plus 30 in front 17 by 9 and a half and he's running a spacer in the front So I wonder if that's like a like a fitment issue with like like clearance of some other sorts. Right, that you right. Need. Maybe I'm not Can't sure. Can't call it. But he dialed in and got it spot on. I don't know how much I would do to this car. Like, I guess the, if I'm gonna nitpick this one, the the red banner and then the red trunk mat. Okay. I guess I'm just hating on red today, but. <laughs> I'm about know. to go it's, take your wheels off your truck. Kinda, I know. It's, it's just like throws it off for me. Other than that, like I think a flat black sure. would look really good as yeah. a window banner on there. Yeah. And then I don't know what for the rear, but I really like this thing. I wouldn't yeah. do too much. I would have to agree. I think I think it's really cool. Um, the fact that like I, I've never seen one of these in person. I don't know if I ever will in the States, honestly. Oh, that's really sick. I love, I love the taste in this car. Like the hard line setup. You love how that tastes? It tastes really, really good. Uh, the hard light setup is dope. I think the wheels on it are a perfect choice for this car. Um, just a little different. Yeah. Like everything about it is just I a like little it. different. The car itself is a little yeah. different. So I don't even, like, I wouldn't change anything on this, honestly. You like, like the red? I like the red. Okay. All I, right. I think it's there a, you go. I think it's a good secondary uh, pop sure. of color. Okay. Nope. Especially just for like a banner. Yeah, I don't guess. kill me, dude. I get it. All right. You ready? Ready? Yeah. All right. On three. Easy. One, two, three, eight nine. and a half. Ooh, nice. Oh. All right, moving on. We got a 2006 oh, Infiniti boy. G35 oh, boy. on some Infiniti Works DX10. Uh, 19 by 11 plus zero in the front. 19 by 11 and a half. Negative six in Ooh. the rear. So if it shares anything besides the motor with the lip, Z, it also shares the wheel. Yeah. Plate because the, whoa, whoa. Jesus Lord. On some accurate air suspension. Now, this is uh, Joe Radley's um, G35. Oh, I thought it was Barney's. Why? So it's green and purple. But there's more green than purple. Barney's purple and green. Reptar. So, moving on into the more specifics Ooh, here. I do like the purple. The purple? The Okay, so here's what I'll say about this car. I really love the purple wheels. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. Right. The only thing about this color combo that I'm not really about is the fact that it's like a satin or matte finish of the car. I don't, I've never, I've never really been a huge fan of like the satin finishes or the matte finishes. I can agree with that. I, I think it just looks, to me, it just looks like it's like unfinished almost. Like it's just like. It looks, I've seen a couple of vehicles that pull it off sure. really well. Yeah. But like, generally, yeah, I get what you're saying. It's matte. Yeah. Matte wraps or dip. It, it always it, leaves. It just does something. Yeah. 
But more to be outside decided. of that, I really like the car. Sure. I really like what he's got going on oh, here. The Joker. That's another one. The there, Joker. You there you go. <laughs> um, so it looks like he's got some aftermarket fenders on here. Um, I would imagine that this does have some kind of wide body to it. Yeah, so over fender wide body trim, so it does add some width to so it. That explains the 11 and a half and negative six offset yep, G's. Exactly. <laughs> it is, it's molded though. It's an actual, like it is. I don't think it's moldy, it. bro. I don't. We got a carbon fiber uh, hood. It looks like we got like some that. arrow pieces going on. Overall, oh. it looks like it's, you know, what he's done to it is really, really nice. I just, I'm just not a fan of that. Um, okay, so I love the wheels. Mm -hmm. I think the wheels look great. I love the lip of them. I like the color of them. The green is a lot. That's big old. I mean, this car stands out. I mean, it catch your eye, that's for sure. <laughs> I like the carbon fiber. I think that stands out, breaks it up a little yeah. bit. Personally, I'm just not green. I'm not gonna say it looks bad though. It looks like it was done well. Right. Whether it's, I'm, I'm assuming it's wrapped. Looks like it was done really well. The stance on this is extremely good, especially for having a wide body mm -hmm. on there. He, he got the fitment dialed in really well. Um, maybe I'd like to see a little bit more. Oh, it's the Hulk there. The, the Hulk's in the seat. There, there's so much green and purple stuff. <laughs> You're trying to figure out a Reptar. We got the Joker. Barney. He's like, brother, it's the Hulk. The Hulk is in the freaking picture. He has the Hulk sitting in the seat, which the seats are dope, by the way. I really like those. Maybe a carbon fiber trunk in the rear? Sure. What do you think Just about that? What do you think about that? You like that? How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? Will you buy it for him or what? <laughs> yeah, come come meet me. I get you a carbon fiber trunk. Don't don't. That was a lie. Don't do that. I don't know. I need to buy my yeah, actually, like, Lives down in Milwaukee. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll be right there, there man. Be there. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if there's any more aggressive like diffusers. It looks like he kind of has a little bit of a sure. splitter there going on. Carbon fiber side skirts look good. Ooh, I do like the splitter from this angle. That does look good. Um, so yeah, maybe just something on the rear. I feel like something's missing on the rear. Otherwise, yeah, I like the car. I'm just not a huge fan of green, but that's not for everybody. Cool. You ready to rate it? Sure, let's rate it. Ready, ready? One, two, three, eight. Uh, I had to think about it. I was gonna say nine, but I'm actually gonna go eight. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just because of the green. The green, yeah. if there's any other it's color, it's a great color. car. It's a great car. That's a personal thing. Sorry, sorry, Hulk. Code is getting personal. Oh, you, oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Moving on to car number four, the fourth and final car today. We have a 2007 BMW 1 Series M. What in the Sam hell? ESR SR01 on some tank coilovers. This looks like some that I'd see on Need for Speed or uh, Forza what Horizon. What is going on here? <clears throat> Chris Brown, 34. This is. <laughs> is this his. Chris Brown's car? He's got some over fenders and wide body trims. He's got some 40 millimeter spacers going on all around. Oh boy, dude, this thing is carbon. That's cool. A lot yeah, of carbon I need to goodies. Go first on this one. All right, you want to go first? Yeah. Okay. You take it away. I gotta process yeah, that. Yeah, this that is, is that's <clears throat> out there. So I see, obviously, the Pandem sticker on there. Does Pandem really make a kit for this? I would imagine. <clears throat> okay. All right. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy to see one of these with a, a kit on it anyways. Yeah. It looks pretty wild. It's throwing me off that it's a hatchback. I know, like. An, I didn't know that was a thing. It's like an SUV. Like at first I thought that was like a, like a WRX hatch at first. I was like. Kinda. And then I, I read the title and I'm like, that's, that's not. Man, why did I ask for this first? Now I'm trying to process all of it. <laughs> so I really love the carbon fiber splitter on there. That looks really good. From the front, I really love how yeah. this thing looks. It looks aggressive as hell. I'm digging that. ESRs, they're okay choice. I maybe like to see a different wheel on there. The seats, they're okay. They're all right. I appreciate how much is done to this thing, though. Like, you don't see these no, modified no, and like, looking like all. this. It, I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this right. is tough. So here, here we go. This thing throws me off, but yeah. not in a bad way. Because I mean, Fitman's pretty good too. Yeah. For a tank I, okay. On there. So mm -hmm. I would like to see it maybe just a little bit lower. I think just a little bit lower. Like the thing looks aggressive. Yeah, like, it looks it's, like it's, it's about to like <laughs> beat you up. Um, but like, I think just a little bit lower, I think it would tie it together really, really nice. It's really thrown me off because I've never seen one of these cars before. I've never seen a BMW 1 Series hatch. And it looks, it's like, I'm sorry. it's like GTI. Let me, let me Google it real quick. <clears throat> WRX, GTI, WRX. And it's thrown me off a little bit and 
I don't hate it at all. I actually kind of like it. The kit, I think, is pretty dope. Like I said, not sure about the, the, the seats in there, but I, I understand why you went with it. I love the fact that it's got some carbon fiber goodies going on. Yeah, that and looks it looks like it, it goes all well. around the car. Like, you got the visor, you got the splitter, uh, you got the side skirts. Um, you got a whole bunch of, like, carbon goodies. I honestly, if it's just a little bit lower, I, and I think some, it would be like, good. HREs would look good on there. That too. And it, and, that, and that's another another point too. I can't really see the Make wheels at all. Rohana. It's they're the black wheels. Rohana. They get lost a little you bit. Know, you get some bigger wheels on there. Really? Oh, well, I, so? I mean, like I would almost I would stick with like the size that he has. Okay. But just like maybe something of a different color, maybe more of like a like a gray or something, just so you can see it a little more. I guess all I'd say is that I like it. it's different. Maybe change the interior up a little bit. That's just a personal thing. Um, but I would like to see HREs or Ohanas on it. I think those would be kind of like a perfect fit for it. Sure. Honestly, I like I like the style. I I would just go with a different color. Okay. Cool. Yep. All right. Three, two, one. Seven. Eight and a half. I like this different stuff. I just I don't. It throws me off so much yeah. that it's. Oh. <laughs> it, it hurts it hurts my brain in yeah. a good way because yeah. it's like it i love cars like that that like make you like literally look at every part of it like okay what's going on here what's going on here and even, it's different it's, that's it's just sure. so different and that's that's what makes that's what makes the best of it yeah that's not a saying that's what makes the best of it that's so makes 2019 it's, it's, that's gonna be your last quote of 2019 this probably goes up. Does it go up in 2020? This goes up next decade. We're in the future. Uh, no, we're in the past. No, future. You get the point. If you want your car reviewed in an upcoming episode from the gallery, don't forget to add it to the gallery. Fitmanindustries.com forward slash add. And we will make sure that it gets reviewed if you want it. So email us at shop at fitmanindustries.com. If you do that, subject line, review my car, wheel start suspension, fitmanindustries.com, all that sort of good stuff. Thank you guys so much. There is a taco dog walking out there, and I'm gonna go pet it. I'm Giles. I'm Dakota. We'll see you later. Peace. Probably like, what the hell is a taco dog? Yeah, they don't know what a taco dog is. <laughs> Only we know about a taco yeah, dog. It's a dog that sells tacos, and if you pet him, you get free tacos. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some. Bye.